Before we can discuss what reverse osmosis is, we need to begin with an understanding of osmosis and why it matters. Osmosis is when water moves from an area of low solute concentration to an area of high solute concentration through a semi-permeable membrane. The membrane allows only water through until the water molecules distribute themselves evenly in a space. This type of movement is generally referred to as diffusion, but when in reference to water, it is called osmosis. There aren't too many examples of semi-permeable membranes that favor only water molecules, but cell membranes in general allow water to flow in and out of the cell freely. This is why placing a raisin in a cup of water causes it to puff back up again. To summarize what we've learned so far, osmosis is the movement of water molecules from an area of low solute concentration to one of high solute concentration. So what is reverse osmosis? In reverse osmosis, the opposite of this process occurs. Water is forced from an area of high solute concentration to that of lower concentration. Reverse osmosis applies high hydrostatic pressure or external pressure to a solution across a semi-permeable membrane to prepare a purified solvent. The membrane allows the passage of water, but not ions. For example, sodium, calcium, and chlorine ions cannot pass, nor larger molecules such as glucose, urea, and bacteria. Because the applied hydrostatic pressure is greater than the osmotic pressure, water moves in the opposite direction of where it would flow naturally. Reverse osmosis is used in many industries. The process aids in the production of maple syrup, in the production of dairy products such as concentrated whey and milk, and in the wine industry to filter out undesirable elements like some acid, smoke, and to control alcohol content. Reverse osmosis is also used to create pure ethanol that's used in a fuel, free from contaminants. Most bottled water companies such as Disani use reverse osmosis in their filtration process.